is unspeakable. Um, I first heard about it. I'm still in shock. Excuse me a moment, I, I want to go. Parents all over the country have heavy hearts tonight for those families in the small Connecticut town. 20 students there dead after a gunman opened fire inside an elementary school. So how do you begin to talk to your child about this tragedy? Cassandra Garcia is here with more on that. Well, it's definitely a tough subject to tackle. And depending on what age your child is, you'll actually have to tailor the conversation. As news updates spread and images like these flood our television screens, many parents may instinctually want to discuss what they see with their young children. So if you see that in people, whether... But family therapist friend, Claudia really Schwartz wanted. says if your child is too young, about elementary age, and hasn't already heard about the shooting, it's a good idea to avoid the subject. Because you were putting fears into kids' heads that shouldn't really be there. This isn't something that does happen on a daily basis. And I, I do think that schools do a good job of taking precautions. Schwartz says young children aren't capable of understanding tragic situations like this one and may only become afraid. But if they have heard about it, I think you do have to talk to them because you have to um, normalize their life and their school and show them what their safety precautions are in their own school. If your child is older, about middle school or high school age, parents may want to initiate the conversation, asking questions like, are you upset and why are you upset? Oftentimes, all children will show signs of fear if they are impacted enough by something they see or hear. Younger kids may suddenly become afraid at night or might stop sleeping. If you see a child becoming more anxious or suddenly fearful of going to school or fearful of being separated from mom and dad when maybe they haven't in the past. If your older child doesn't seem worried, Schwartz says this is a good time to talk to them about being aware of their surroundings. So talk to them about their own safety, their own precautions, so they're when, if something should happen like that, where if somebody started shooting, what would you do? Now we'll have more information about how to talk to your children on our website, 8newsnow.com, and we'll also have a link there to the National PTA website that provides plenty of resources.